see there is Laserbeak, both the Encore and the Masterpiece. Masterpiece on the right and Encore on the left. Uh, the Masterpiece is a bit more red as to where the Encore is a bit more of an orangey tone. And they're approximately the same size. Almost exactly the same size in their cassette mode. The actual uh, robot mode itself is a, sad, a tad uh, different in size. But there you can get an idea of how they look. As you can see, the uh, beak head is pointed upwards in Masterpiece, whereas it's facing downwards in the uh, Encore. And this one's just done with all stickers, whereas this one has paint. So go ahead and uh, show off some transformation for this guy. Transformation is very simple. What you want to do is actually push. There's a little, uh, you can see here in this black area, just push in the middle. Very obvious panel. Push it out. That'll allow you to grip Laserbeak's head. It'll expose it. And then you'll just want to pull it out. There you go. Now his head's exposed. Then we'll go ahead and flip over his cannon. See? They're just on a double hinge. Flip them over. And then flip up the wings. Go ahead and flip over his wings as well. They are on a double hinge at the Decepticon logo, as you can see. Flip them up. Bring down, you see here? This will be the foot. Kind of just twist and bring it down. It'll kind of twist on its own, but just do that. Bring it down. There you go. Now just fold his wings back. And there we have him. He's completely transformed. No parts forming. That's a big thing for people. No parts forming on this figure. So there at all. you can see both the laser beaks in their robot mode. And the masterpiece one is not quite as blocky looking as the uh, Encore one is. Wings are very nice and aerodynamic looking. Head can actually be raised on this one whereas on the encore one it could be raised but the weapons block it they they do get in the way so that's unfortunate but the masterpiece one is very nice looking the guns on it are way smaller than they actually are just because they're built into the actual transformation so obviously they're gonna have to make it a tad smaller just to, to compensate for that but it's fine i mean it's not that bad definitely love these awesome uh decepticon logos on the wings they look very nicely done. And yeah, that's, that's a very awesome little laser beak figure. Now for laser beak's uh, articulation, you can actually bring his wings forward. Not back at all, but that's just due to transformation. You can flip them down if you'd like. I'm like that, kind of. Kind of fold them in a bit more if you'd like. Just whatever you really want to do. Kind of get him look like he's, you know, getting ready to just sit and perch somewhere, show off his Decepticon logos, whatever you want to do. So you can bring those up, uh, you, or you can bring them down, but you can't really bring them up just the way the uh, hinges are made. We don't really need to bring them up, so that's fine. And his head's got a really nice movement, so you can bring it all the way down. He looks like he's uh, ready for an attack. Or you can go ahead and then just fold it all the way up. You can bend it at the neck. Kind of got like a swan thing going on. So it's very nicely done. And you can even rotate his feet. Well, you can only rotate it to a certain point, and then his other foot gets away. But yeah, even gave him foot, foot rotation. So, very impressive articulation for this little you guy. You can see Laserbeak's beak is actually painted in a gunmetal-y color, while his, the rest of his head is painted with the uh, black. And he does have a nice yellow in the eyes. And he can also, if you push down on the panel on his head, if, if you can see that, kind of push down at the back. There you go. You can get out his flip-out camera, which people were ecstatic about, including myself. This is an awesome little feature. You can go ahead and spy on some Autobots if you want, and, you know, represent that episode. Just do it if you want. Very nicely done. Nice little detail that they decided to add in. So watch out, because he's watching you. So guys, that's really all there is to say about the laser beak part of this video. So when we get back, we'll finally go over the actual... Uh, Soundwave himself. We'll go get to the nitty gritty and see where that takes us. Have a great day.